Now at 11, say goodbye to plastic bags at stores in Coral Gables. City commissioners have decided unanimously to officially ban them, making Coral Gables the first city in Florida to do so. CBS 4's Vanessa Borge is live from City Hall. Vanessa. Ruta Bay, this time next year, if you see one of these plastic bags in Coral Gables, then that means somebody is doing something illegal and they are most likely going to have to pay for it. You know how many bags I do per day? A lot of customers take their food to go. Hala Alawi owns the Pita and Shawarma Mediterranean restaurant on Miracle Mile. The thousands of plastic bags she uses can cost her hundreds in fines if she doesn't replace them. So the fines are uh, a warning the first time, the first violation, and then $50, $100, $200, depending on, you know, subsequent violations, and a maximum of $500 per day. Hala is worried she'll have to increase her prices to replace her bags to paper. The customer has a budget that he has to follow. If if it's not you, he will go eat somewhere else. The city banned styrofoam last year. Hala had to change out her styrofoam containers to plastic ones. That cost her. With everything that I had to change to go everything plastic right now, I'm paying triple what I used to pay with the expense. Triple. As estimated in the documentary Silent Killers by Global Band Now, we manufacture 500 billion plastic bags globally every year. But only 1% are actually recycled. Millions and end up in the ocean and our water supply. I mean, the plastic bag situation in, in our oceans and our waterways is horrific. Uh, killing fish, it's, it's a disaster. There are exceptions to the ban. Dry cleaners, newspapers, pharmacies, veterinarians, plus bigger bags that hold garbage or yard waste and those designed for dog waste. But Hala isn't sure she can keep up with the city's environmental requirements and keep her business afloat at the same time. If the expense keep going out like this, I think I have to move my place from here to someplace else. So businesses in Coral Gables, they have one year to make that transition from these plastic bags to paper bags starting May 9th of next year. No more plastic bags allowed. In Coral Gables, I'm Vanessa Borge, CBS 4 News Tonight.